Marson's Domain. Hey everyone, Marson here. And today I want to talk about who I think the last free DLC will be for All-Star Brawl. So they've come out and said that there's only going to be one more free DLC character. And unfortunately, we have been spoiled a bit. There's no definitive proof if this is going to happen or not. But the game has been data mined, so if you don't want any potential spoilers, please just click off the video. But I had to look at the data mine because I can't just randomly say a character without looking into this because it may not be definitive proof that these characters are going to be coming into the game, but I kind of think it's very unlikely that they won't be coming into the game. Especially with what happened with Garfield. We had already known about Garfield and then sure enough we got Garfield. So there's multiple characters that have been found in this data mine. So there's no guarantee on who the free one will be. But that's where I wanted to give my prediction on who I think it will be. So again, click off the video if you don't want any spoilers. But I'm going to continue with the video now. I think that that character is going to be Rocco. I think that Rocco makes sense for a free DLC. Not that people wouldn't want to buy him, but... He is an older character, and I don't think he's the most relevant anymore. I know they did that thing with Netflix, but I just don't think he's a character that's going to get everyone to go crazy. So I think he makes sense as a free one because I think he'll still garner enough attention for people. Because some of the other characters that we've seen in that data mine, I believe there was three different SpongeBob characters. And honestly, I think they're just going to sell a SpongeBob pack. I think that would make the most sense for Spongebob, and I think it would make the most sense for them in terms of packs. Well, maybe. Because if they have a pack of a show that not as many people care about, then there could be a good chunk of people that would pass on it. So maybe they wouldn't do that every time, but I think with Spongebob, it's a pretty good idea to do. Because most people do like that show, or have seen it, or like the characters in general. But for the free DLC, I'm really feeling like it's going to be Rocco. Which, for me, is exciting because I loved Rocco's Martin Life when I was growing up. So I think he'll be a cool character. I'm actually pretty excited to see his stage. And again, I should clarify, it's not definitive proof that these characters are going to come into the game. But, in my opinion, I do feel like they are. I kind of hope that they don't end up doing this as the game goes on with updates, where they start putting more and more information on stuff we're going to be getting, because I would like to get surprised. With developers knowing that people will data mine, I wish that they would be more careful with this, but then I think some people could argue that maybe they do it on purpose because then it can get people talking, but I don't know. I just kind of hope that this is the only data mine that happens where we see potential characters and then that's it. Any update they have, they don't include this stuff because I would like to get surprised. But Rocco is my pick for who I think will be the last free DLC character for All-Star Brawl. Definitely let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. If you want to stay up to date with my videos, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. If you want to watch my live streams, follow me on Twitch. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.